Wednesday night, y'all having a good time? Good deal. Who's drinking? All right. Be careful, y'all. All right. I, uh, I was watching the local news today, and they were reporting on a DUI checkpoint that was taking place later this evening. Appreciate the heads up, local news. Yeah. I usually get that message in text message form from my buddy that's had five DUIs, you know? Is the local news trying to be my bro right now? Coming up after the break, five people from your local bar that have chlamydia. Local news! Looking out for your boy. Tune in tomorrow night, we're going to give out Jason's Netflix password and Mike's weed hookup. Hell yeah! Local news! Kick it to Tommy for the weather. This bad weather's a real cock block right now, bro. <laughs> Channel 4, we got you, dog. That's their slogan, you know? <laughs> I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I'm, I'm not much of a drinker. Uh, when I'm not doing comedy, I'm a stay-at-home dad, y'all. Yeah. I don't have any kids. Uh, wanna be honest with you on that. But I'm living that stay-at-home dad lifestyle, you guys. What's an alarm clock? I don't know, all right? Multiple bowls of cereal throughout the day. It's 8 a.m. somewhere. Let's get it. Let's do this. Hell yeah. Where are my parents at in the crowd? Cool. How about this, parents? Who's excited to not be with their kids right now? Always a louder woo on the second one. Always. I'm not ready for kids today, but guess what? God's gift to the human race, a nine-month pregnancy, you guys. I got three-fourths of a year to get my shit together, all right? <laughs> Me and this baby are gonna have a race to see who can develop quicker. <laughs> yeah. Daddy versus baby, take your time, all right? Take your time. The second my wife comes in on the positive pregnancy test, I'm gonna be like, all right. Start the clock. Uh, time to Google 401k. What is it? I don't know. We right. DVR Charlie Rose. Is this what we do? Adults? I, I, I got no idea. I got no idea. I looked it up because I don't know everything. You know what the shortest pregnancy in the mammal kingdom is? 13 days. 13 days. The opossum. Now, I'm not a scientist. But I believe that's why they developed the skill to play dead, all right? Yeah. Just a lot of dude possums out there, and I've earned to be fathers, you know what I'm saying? Hey, man, ain't that the chick you was messing with down at the creek like two weeks ago? She got like a whole litter, dude. Oh, shit, for real? I'm dead, bro. I'm dead, bro. I ain't ready for this, bro. I ain't. Uh, she's just still dead, brother. Can you imagine if humans had a 13-day pregnancy, folks? Yeah. My first prediction, casual sex comes to a screeching halt. Yeah. I'm not going to meet you at a bar, take you home, have sex with you, and two weeks later we're raising a kid, and the only thing I know is that we share the same favorite band. That's not going to happen. Being in the delivery room two weeks later, being like, So, where'd you go to college? Uh, oh, still in college. Okay, all right. Oh, this is your dad right here? We did go to high school together. Yeah. Oh. God. Yeah. No, I'm married. I'm not pregnant in college women. I'm married. Uh, my wife and I, we have a very loving marriage, but the other day we had to have a sit down conversation about something I did to upset her. <laughs> In a dream that she had! <laughs> yeah! Is that so you want to spend breakfast, right, y'all? She sat me down and she said, Babe, I had a very disturbing dream last night. Okay? I want to talk about it. You were having sex with my friend Megan. I said, babe, I have that dream all the time, all right? <laughs> Let's talk about it, you know?
share you some details. What you got? <laughs> First of all, which Megan? You know what I'm saying? That makes a big, is it hot Megan or Megan? Like, how good are we talking about? <laughs> turns out, turns out this was a problem. I thought it was a birthday present. You know what I'm saying? Like, I thought it was the greatest suggestion box ever. You know what I'm saying? Like, it wasn't. This is going well. I love, I love when stand-up comedy goes well, y'all. Oh, man. It's good. When it goes terribly, it's bad. How many of you are like, what's it like to suck at stand-up comedy? I'll give you the perfect example. Sucking at stand-up comedy, y'all, is a lot like pooping in a public restroom with one toilet and a really long line. Because the whole time you're just like, shit, everyone out there hates me right now. Like, oh my God. This is usually my favorite activity right now. No joy. No joy for me. He's going to finish as fast as possible and not make eye contact. And just get the hell out of here. Yeah, that's what, that's what sucking at stand-up comedy feels like, y'all. You want to know what crushing it at stand-up comedy feels like? Thank you, sir. <laughs> you turn the corner in the public restroom and you see floor to ceiling stall doors. Like, this is an afternoon activity now. Like, I gotta text my friends and cancel some plans, you guys. Cause I just rented a mini apartment for three hours. This is so much security, so much safety. It's amazing. Oh man, I, I, uh, I love public restrooms. My favorite thing in public restrooms uh, are the hand dryers. Yeah, you guys know the accelerator? The accelerator, bro. Here's the business meeting when someone was like, I think we should create a hand dryer. Let's put a leaf blower in a shitty tin can. And anytime someone uses it, it just disturbs a piece in a four mile radius. The accelerator, bro. And then they came up with a Dyson Airblade. Y'all know the Dyson Airblade? Yeah. You just dip your hands in like a little hand car wash. It's the best. <laughs> I saw a restaurant that managed to mess this one up. Instead of right here, it's like right here. <laughs> yeah. This looks like I'm trying to get a cookie from the cookie jar on top of the refrigerator. I look like Frankenstein trying to find a light switch. I look like LeBron James just shot a three-pointer with two hands and he's like, fuck with me. I look like that scene in Terminator 2 when the T-1000 is chasing the car with the metal arm. I look like a gay Nazi that's doing it wrong. That's not how we do it, Hans. That's not how it goes. I look like a 1950s hard rock and my boyfriend is in a drag race and it's my job to say, go! Thank you guys for being